Hello everyone, good morning. This is Barina Jeff and today we're going to do our FTCU monthly video and we're going to do the redraw tool, sometimes known as the slow redraw. And we're going to explain some of the tools on it, how to create a stop in the middle of a color so you can change colors in your design and not have to watch your machine real closely and stop it and change colors and restart it. So this will allow you to work your design and make it more personal without having to get uh, too crazy on it. So first off, I'd like you to watch Trevor's Conquer Goods uh, video. I'm going to, when your FTCU software boots up, you usually get this little screen. And I'm going to sign in to the RK Club and log into there. And let's see what we got going here. Is it there? Now, to find the archived videos, you need to go to Blogs and News and come all the way down to Club Weekly Video Archive. That's where you find the good stuff. Now I'm going to scroll down. It's got to populate here for a second. Sometimes I do the most current ones. I'm not going to do the that current one. But I'm going to do editing in FTCU. And I think this is the right one. So I'm going to click on that. And Trevor is going to talk with Matt for a little bit, but then he's going to get into editing. So Hi, we're not going to uh, get into Welcome here. To you can do this yourself. So I'm bouncing out of that. He explains how to use these tools right across here. This is one stitch if you click it. If you drag, if you put your cursor on this little blue bar and hold it down and drag, it will stitch as fast as you want or stop where you want it to. So we're going to use that tool. We're going to use all these along this line. This is one stitch at a time, so you click it one stitch at a time. Depending upon your computer, if you hold it down, it'll do stitches as you go. I've had some computers that you hold it down, it just gets confused. Now, this is like your old cassette player. We're going to go forward, and it's going at a speed here determined by this bar. If I bring this bar all the way over, it goes faster. And this is the pause button. When I go again, when you hit it again, it goes all the way to the, to the beginning. And this is reverse, so I'm going to simulate going forward again. So he's drawing that color. And pause, and then start again. Maybe I want to go backwards a little bit, and pause. If I hit pause twice, it's going to come back all the way to the very beginning. So that's like a reset. So be careful on using that. So this design, I want these eyes and maybe the nose to be a different color than the rest of the body. And my usual workaround before I found this tool out was to watch my machine was embroidering. When it got right to the very first stitch of that eyeball, I would stop the machine, change the thread, and then watch it real close, stop it right at the end, change the thread, have it sew there, and then do the same for the other eyeball. Well, that's laborious, and uh, if you're doing a bunch of these, you know. Anyway, we're going to show you how to put a stop at the beginning of that eye, and then a stop at the end of the eye after it does the nose and stuff. And if you want to get really tricky, you can change the color just for the nose. So I'm going to give you these tools, and hopefully this will be something that uh, you can use in the future to help personalize a design. So here we go. So our goal is to see where that eye starts stitching. So I'm going to grab across this bar here and drag it and just stitch it till I'm, I'm watching the stitch out. And I know it's pretty close to about two-thirds of the way through, so I'm, I'm close there. So it's stitching out the ears. And right there, it's starting with the eye. I can kind of see where it's starting there. But that's a little bit too small for me to really determine exact points. So I am going to, as you see, my cursor has that little redraw tool attached to it. So I need to take my cursor and touch the select tool. Oh, I didn't want to do that, apparently. Um, 
let's see how the best way to do this is. I'm going to go back up to the bar. You know, even people that know this software mess up every so often. So don't give yourself too much problems. So there it is. It's starting again. So I am going to grab this magnifying glass and it keeps going back to the beginning. So I'm going to draw my my box around the area I want first. Let's see if this helps out. You might think this was planned out, but this is how I roll. I am a button pusher and experimenter, so I learn things kind of by the school of hard knocks, and that's why I remember things so well. All right, so now I'm going to grab my bar, and nothing's happening on screen, but I know because I've practiced it several times that somewhere around this two-thirds of the way through, as you can see, it's finishing with the ear. Oh, and that's the part I want. See where that eye's growing right there? So I'm going to stop right there. Now, I'm about two or three stitches into that, so I'm going to go up to my previous stitch one at a time, and if you notice it, it's going one stitch back at a time. That's exactly where I want it to stop. So I'm going to come all the way over here to my stop sign and just click it once. That has put a stop, it's told the sewing machine to stop, and you can color change at that point or d inspect whatever you want to do. So the next thing I want to do is I want to have it sew the rest of this, and I want to stop at the end of the next uh, eye. So I can drag this across. Let's do that. Drag it real slow like. All right. Now I'm past, so I'm going to go back up a stitch or two until that jump stitch. It might be more than a stitch or two, so I'm click, 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 clicking. There I am. There. See, I'm going too far. So I'm going to go forward. It's really easy to just jog forward a stitch till you get to the last stitch you want. Oh, I went one too far, so I'm going to go back one. So I know I'm exactly at the place I want to be. So it's going to stitch this eye, come down, do the nose, and come down to there. Now, if I wanted to change the color of the nose, I'm going to do that here next, just to kind of reinforce what we've learned. So I'm going to hit a stop right there. All right. So it will stop at the beginning of the eyes and at the end of the eyes. And I'm going to show you how to make sure that that is exactly true. We're going to select our tool here. Now I want to see the whole image on my workspace, so I'm going to double click the magnifier. That gives me the fit to screen sort of thing. And now if I come over here to my uh, segments or sequence view and I hit this, it's, it's all collapsed here. If I hit the plus, the last part, that's not the last stitches, but if I come up here, if you look here real close, it looks just like the eyes and the snout. Now. I've got that selected. I'm going to put a really crazy color like yellow on there. So when I click it out, oh, that yellow is not very good. I'm going to click on it. Let's do bright pink so you can really see where it's at. So you see that I've changed his eyes and his nose. And I can change that to any color because it's a color stop. So as it's sewing, now I can determine what color I want for the eyes. Maybe I want laser eyes, so I'm going to select it one more time, and I'm going to do red. It's kind of the way my frustration level has been lately. There we go. So this helps you personalize your design. Now, I had mentioned maybe you want not a red nose. I don't want a Rudolph Fox. So I'm going to come into this area again. I'm going to make, grab my magnifier and drag a box around that, and I want it to another stop right there and there so I can make my nose a different color. So I'm going to drag this until it gets to the red because I know that's where it's at. And now I'm going to advance stitch by stitch. It might take a lot of clicks, so I'm clicking as I go, click, 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 click. He's going he's gonna to walk back down to the nose because I know the eyes last. So there's a lot of stitches here because it's like a triple bean stitch. And I'm clicking. Okay, that's the start of the nose. So I'm going to go back a stitch or two. And I'm going to hit a stop again. 
And now I'm going to, going to well, let's use this, this tool here. I'm going to bring my speed all the way really slow, and I'm going to use my um, stitch simulator, and it's going to stitch real slow. And I'm going to put my cursor right on top of the stop pause, because I don't want to have to find that as a, um, I stopped it before it was done. Now I'm going to go stitch by stitch until I see that that nose is completely finished. It is, so I'm going to go back one stitch. And I'm going to hit stop again. All right. So this probably isn't the best route to go because we're going to have a color change here, a color change here, and then we're going to go back to the original color. But I just wanted to reinforce what we have done. So let's, let's go ahead and double click the magnifier. And now if we look down here, we have, um, we should have another stitch here. Let's see here. See if we have a plus on our eyes there. So here is the, the nose segment. Now I want to have it, let's do it in black again. So there we go. We've got any colors we want with the eyes. We'll just have to select both of them. Now we can select one eye at a time. There's one eye. So you could have a uh, uh, one white eye, one black eye, an Australian Shepherd like that. And there you go. So I wanted to show you how to personalize your design colors and put stops in a long run. And uh, this can be done at any type of design that has stitches. You can do it with convert to outlines or you can do it with just plain uh, designs that you brought in that hasn't been converted. So thank you very much for watching. Marina Jeff, remember to subscribe and check out my other YouTubes. I have many on uh, just basic sewing and a lot on the 7 Series Berninas. And I have a Shopify account that I sell a lot of unique supplies and tools and a perfect oiler, some offset tweezers. These are perfect tools for uh, all your sewing needs. And that's at bernina-jeff.myshopify.com. If you forget that, you can always call the shop at 970-256-1293. And thank you for watching.